Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Where are my brown dwarfs? I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. Well, what do you know? Pluto is a planet again because it has clouds. Wait, what the hell? Somebody alert the press. Wait, scratch that. I guess the press alerted me. And when I say press, I mean Phil Plate of the Bad Astronomer has let me know that Pluto might have clouds. March 9th, 2016, 9 a.m. Does Pluto have clouds? Well, dot, 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 by Phil Plate. Does Pluto have clouds? I don't know. Yes, no, maybe. I can't verify. And they say the lie is different at every level. So let's play along, shall we? The surprises from Pluto keep on coming. This time, clouds. Maybe. I'm not surprised. Pluto has a little bit of everything, man. You see, scientists say Pluto might have clouds. So then Pluto might be a planet again. But I say, scientists say a lot of shit, so don't get too excited. Hello, Pluto. I missed you. Whereas Sirius is like a pimple on my butt that I wish would go away. Pluto, you are still cool. As ruler of the underworld, I'm always interested in what you're up to. So yeah, Pluto has clouds now. Snow, water, mountains, trees, and Plutonian space weed. So that's exciting. This is all Thor News speculation based on goofy NASA photos. So make of it what you will. Who knows? We can't verify shit, and they say the lie is different at every level. Have you ever wanted to ski upon solid farts? Well, now you can, because Pluto has exotic mountains of methane snow. No, I'm not making this up. Somebody else got paid to. All right. An article in The New Scientist gives some of the details. Now I'm going to stop everybody right here. Scientists may say that clouds make you a planet. I do not. I think the thing that separates planets from planetoids, dwarf planets, and just space objects is auroras. If you have an aurora, you're a planet. If you do not have auroras, you're not a planet. It's that simple. We like to simplify the science and make it work here at Thor News. Doesn't always work for science. An article in New Scientist gives some of the details. Briefly, images of Pluto taken during the July 2015th close encounter by the New Horizons spacecraft show tantalizing hints of clouds over the surface. Phil Plate will be honest. The evidence is interesting, but he is not convinced. Because that mofo is a skeptic. He examines science with a skeptical eye of a thinking man before hopping on board the gravy train of public opinion, excitement, and momentum, I guess. Okay, let him start off by saying right away, I sent an inquiry about this to scientists with New Horizons, but they're not ready to comment yet. Obviously, and understandably, they want more time, and probably more images too. Hey, don't we all? That's one thing that the public and the NASA scientists can agree on. We all want more damn images. Did you hear that? We all want more damn images. We want more bang for our buck from cameras that shoot 60 frames per second. So yeah, they want more photos before they will issue an official statement. I also could not find the images in the new Horizons Raw Images database, but there are thousands of images there. Ooh, I'll have to check it out. And I may have simply missed it. For the sake of discussion, I'll assume it's real. All right, that's great. For the sake of this article, this video, and this discussion, Bill Plate and I will assume all this bullshit is real. Okay? Sounds good. Let's all red pill it up. Well, I'll blue pill it up together in a big internet hug of learning and imagination. Given all this is a caveat, in my opinion, the new scientist headline, Exclusive Photos, Cloud Seen on Pluto for First Time, is misleading in this regard. And they've been guilty of this sort of thing before. Well, why don't you draw and quarter them up, buddy? Uh, isn't that what Slate does best, is decide who needs to be drawn and quartered next? Zing! All right, get away from the divide and conquer and get back to the hard science. It's not at all clear that's what we're seeing here. It's possible, but not conclusive. You see, Pluto has an atmosphere, but it's thin. Isn't that what they say about the moon? I mean, really thin. Anorexic. Atmospheric pressure at the surface is about point oh 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 uno, or one one hundred thousand that of Earth's. That means if you smoke some of that plutonium space weed, you get super high and then float around. Sounds like a good time. Except for the planet would smell like farts, I guess. That is so rude, science. That is just so rude. The air there is mostly nitrogen, which is oddly similar to the air here on Earth. Bum 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 bum. Do 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 do. Wait, what is spooky music? Do 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 do. No, that's not spooky. However, temperatures on Pluto peak at roughly negative 220 degrees Celsius. If Celsius confuses you, that's negative 360 degrees Fahrenheit. But that's a full turnaround from the temperatures here on Earth. So don't get too cozy 
comparing our climate with Pluto's. Yes, because I'm sure uh, both of our climates are changing on Pluto. It's not the Plutonian's fault, but on Earth, it is the Earthling's fault. So stop being jerks, Earthlings. <laughs> Still, there's enough atmosphere to have effects we can see. Yeah, remember when they took a picture of it and Pluto looked like a blue dot, blue planet, with a bunch of blue atmosphere like Earth's? Interesting. Very interesting. For example, there are haze layers. I told you, man. It's from all those Plutonians smoking all that good Plutonian weed. They're an advanced civilization, so it's totally legal there. They got giant Plutonian cities. We can't see because their lights are in infrared. A dozen of them or more above the surface. Seen best when New Horizons passed Pluto and saw its atmosphere backlit by the sun. And yes, the sky there really is blue. For the same reason ours is. Interesting. He highlighted that. Phil Plate is implying aliens on Pluto. Man, high five. Sweet. See? Not everybody at NASA is bad. You just gotta learn how to read between the lines. You think some scientist at NASA is just gonna fight the Illuminati all by himself? Hell no. That is not logical. And therein lies the issue. How do you distinguish between haze and clouds? Plutonian haze are in my brain. Lately, things don't seem the same. I'm acting funny, and I don't know why. Excuse me while I kiss the Plutonian sky. The haze over Pluto is probably made mostly of carbon-based molecules. Man, everything is either made of carbon-based molecules or ice crystals. Sometimes they simplify science a little too much. Created by ultraviolet light from the distant sun zapping simpler molecules in the air and on the surface. Are the clouds seen? If they are seen, similar to that or a different phenomenon. What, Phil? I don't... Huh? Are the clouds seen? If they are seen, similar to that, or a different phenomenon. I don't get that sentence. What the hell, Phil? Man, I know you wrote this early in the morning, but, uh, I'm confused. Uh, confuseth me, sir. Haze tends to be widespread. You can say that again. Earth just has a giant haze of anger and confusion over it right now. Somebody needs to blow that crappy haze away. The underworld haze of Pluto, here on Earth. But the haze isn't distributed evenly. You can say that again, too. It could be thicker in some places than others. That's what she said. It makes it hard to distinguish from a cloud. Is it a haze or is it a cloud? Oh, today we'll find out. Is it a Plutonian underworld haze or is it just a cloud? Wait, if it was a cloud, that would make it a planet. This is major science we're doing here. Major science ahead. Next on Thor News, as we dig deep into the Plutonian underworld and never trust a thing. They lie all the time. It's inherent in the underworld. The images and features on Pluto's limbs are hard to clarify. Uh, that's what she said. Oh, crap. I broke my that's what she said button. Phil, how, how long is this damn ass article? However, there is a bright feature in one photo that seems to cut across both a brighter smooth and a darker bumpier region on the surface, which is interesting. If that were surface ice or something like that, you wouldn't expect it to overlap both regions. And it does look cloud-like, but looks, you might expect, can be deceiving. Ooh. Bill Blade is saying, don't trust your own damn eyes. Trust what the science people tell you, but be very skeptical. All right, Phil, let's get back to it. I'd love to see two shots taking a few minutes apart of the same area. Well, getting two shots from NASA is a tall order, bro. That could settle it. The cloud may not move much in that time, but the motion of New Horizons barreling past Pluto at 14 kilometers a second might literally give us some perspective on it. As the spacecraft took images from different angles, a cloud well above the surface could be I dead due to its parallax. Whoa, I dead? That's awfully cri- Oh, I did. No, I get it. Stupid parallax. Parallax kills people. Stay away from it. Perhaps we'll know more soon. Images are still being sent back to Earth from New Horizons with data rates from 5 billion kilometers or tad on the slow side. I know that's like when I had Time Warner cable. It's real slow. I wonder if New Horizons has Time Warner cable. Probably because the service is horrible and the prices are expensive. So hopefully, some will reveal more about these features. So again, to be clear, we don't know if these images show clouds on Pluto or not. However, I do hope this pans out. Clouds over Pluto. What a thought. Pluto planet again. That's exciting. We don't know if these images are real. That's exciting. Okay. Sweet. We've divin down into the underworld to learn. I don't know if we did, though. You let me know. Okay. Peace out. God bless everyone. Thanks, Phil. Ah, what the... What the heck? What the hell? What the shit?